Hi, dude. What's up? How's it going, man? Yeah. Dude, I wish you could have came and saw Shrek with us, man. That movie was really good. Oh, man. God, I really like that movie. It's a shame that whatever, what was it, your dad died or something, so you couldn't come? Yeah, it's a shame about that, but it was just so freaking good. You totally should have came, dude. Oh, man. Um, I won't spoil anything, but I just want to give you, like, because I know you were a little confused about what it was about, so I'm just going to give you, like, just, like, slight details about it, right? I'm not going to spoil anything, so don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay, so it's about, like, it's about Shrek, like, the ogre, right? And he's, um, he... Okay, I, I guess I should start at, like, the beginning. So, it's, like, he, this isn't a spoiler, because this is, like, this is the first couple seconds. He's in, um, a toilet. Um, he's using the bathroom. He's reading, like, a storybook, and then he's, like, like, that's ever going to happen? And then he rips out the page and flushes it down the toilet. He's, like, What's a lo what a load of... And then he flushes the toilet, and it's, like, implied he's going to see shit. It's really funny. You'd have to see it. But anyways, that's not a spoiler, because it's, like, the first couple seconds of the movie, anyways. Um... So then they, um, or Shrek, he's, like, going around to the swamp doing his, like, morning routine and shit. Um, and then some guys show up, and they're like, ogre, we gotta, we gotta kill the ogre. And then Shrek comes out, um, and he's like, really, you think you're going to kill me? That's kind of what he talks like, I don't know. He's like, you think you're going to kill me? And then he, like, he, like, licks his fingers and puts out their torch like a candle. And he's like, this is the pot where you run away, and then the guys run away, real cool, like, and that's just, like, the opening scene alone, so it really sets the, the tone for the whole movie, and then, um, so, th he's, like, my favorite character, okay, so they introduce my next, the, okay, sorry, I'm just really excited, so the, um, the next scene, which is still not a spoiler, um, so, uh, they, they go, and it's the, the, the army is, like, but not, like, the U.S. army, it's, like, the, the king's army, like all the knights and everything, they're trying to gather all the um, the fairy tale creatures of all the land. They're trying to gather them all um, so that they can. I don't know why they're doing it actually, but they're going around and they're getting all the fairy tale creatures. There's like the three little pigs are there. Um, I think Humpty Dumpty, maybe. I don't know. There's just, there's a whole bunch of different creatures there, and then this one lady walks up and she's like, "This is my donkey. He can talk." Go on, talk, donkey. Show him he can talk. And then the donkey's just like, not talking, because he's a donkey, right? So, um, so she's like, come on, talk. And they're, they're like dragging her away. She's, they're like, this lady's crazy. And then some um, fairy dust gets spilled on the donkey. Um, hold on. Ah, sorry. Um, so someone spills like fairy dust on the donkey, and the donkey starts to fly. Um, and he's like. Oh, look at me. I can fly. He can fly, says another. And then they go around. There's a bunch of people. They're like, he can fly. He can fly. And he can talk. That's what the guard says. And then Donkey's like, you may have seen a house fly. Maybe even a super fly. But I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. That's what he says. And then the magic starts running off. He's like, oh, wait. Oh, no. And then he falls to the ground. And they're like, get him. And they charge after him. Um, and then he's running away. He's running away. And he runs into Shrek. And Shrek is like big scary ogre, so he's like, Dah! you know, he's trying to scare Donkey, and Donkey's like, that doesn't work. So Donkey's not scared of Shrek. So Donkey tries to become friends with Shrek, and he's like, Donkey's like, hey, what's your name, man? And Shrek's like, uh, Shrek. And Donkey's like, Shrek, that's a weird name for a, for an ogre or something like that. I don't remember what he said exactly, but it's really funny. Um, so Donkey follows Shrek home, but Shrek, like, doesn't want him to be there, um, it's really funny, and so, like, Donkey, Donkey's, like, all sad, because Shrek's like, you can't stay with me, because I'm the Olga, or something, I don't even know why Shrek is being such a butt, and Donkey's like, I'm gonna sleep in the house, and tomorrow in the morning, I'm making waffles, uh, but then Shrek's like, you sleep outside, um, and then, um, something happens, I don't remember what it is exactly that happens, um, but Donkey goes outside, and then there's all the fairy tale creatures are outside in Shrek's swamp, and he's like, what are you doing in my swamp? That's what he says, 
Um, and then he runs outside and they tell him that Lord Farquaad, who's the king of this kingdom, um, sent them all to Shrek Swamp to live there. Because that, that's why, I guess that's why they were gathering them up. It's like a concentration camp sort of deal almost. Oh, this isn't a spoiler still, because this is like the first 10 minutes of the movie. I just want to, I don't want you to think I'm going to spoil anything for you here. Um, I'm just, this is like an outline, so you would, you would probably know this just from the trailers alone. Um, so, that, so that, that's what's happening, and Shrek's like, I don't want all you guys here, this is my swamp! Um, so he marches over to Lord Farquaad's castle, and Donkey comes with him, and on the way, they're walking through a sunflower field, um, or, and there's a, there's different vegetables there, but Shrek is like, he's like, oh girls, I like onions! And Donkey's like, cause the stink? And he's like, yes, wait, no, because they make you cry. No, because you leave them out in the sun and they get little white spots all over them, starting to rot and stuff, or something like that. I don't remember what he said exactly, but he says those basic things. <sighs> Sorry. And then Shrek's like, no, layers, onions have layers. Ogres have layers, onions have layers. And Donkey's like, oh, layers. What about cake? Everybody likes cake. And Shrek's like, no, oh, because nobody likes ogres, and eh. Because, you know, cake has layers in addition to onions, so it would also work for the analogy, but but, Don or, uh, but Shrek is not having that, so he's like, no, oh, onions! And then Donkey's like, what about a yogurt parfait? Everybody likes yogurt parfait. But he's like, no, oh, no, onions! We're like onions! Um, yeah, so... Um, so they make it to Lord Farquaad's castle, and they're standing outside, and it's like this really tall building, and they make they make a penis joke. They make a penis joke. It's really funny. Shrek's like looking up at the castle, and he's like, "Do you think he's compensating for something?" Which is like, because he's saying he has a small small penis. It's it's really clever. It's really clever and funny. Like most people probably didn't pick up on that, but since I'm so smart, <laughs> I kind of got it. Um, and then they they go into the castle. And there's the really funny scene. There's a, like a singing, dancing, you know, like the opening scene in Willy Wonka or in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the one with like, is it Johnny Depp? Who is that? He's like the really pale Willy Wonka with the weird glasses and it's got the scary Oompa Loompa songs. I want to say it's Johnny Depp. Do you know? No. Whatever. In um, the opening scene where like the, uh, the little people are singing in that movie. It's just like that in Shrek, but it's little little animatronic guys and they're singing. Um, and there's a, they go they go um, when they're singing they're like, um, what did they say? What is the line? It's like it's like it's implied that they're gonna say something else. It's like oh, it's like please don't walk on the grass. Um, what? Wipe your feet? No. Wash your feet, wipe, yeah, okay. It's like, please don't walk on the grass, wash your feet, wipe your face. Cause it sounds like they're gonna say ass, which is really funny. <laughs> and then, so they go into Lord Farquaad's castle. Um, and oh yeah, also, at a later point, this is not following the Shrek storyline, but this is Lord Farquaad, because he is brought up earlier. He um, had, like, he was, like, interrogating the gingerbread man. Um, I forgot about that scene. But, yeah, so there's that scene, and he's trying to figure out where the Muffin Man is or something weird like that. I don't know. But what ends up happening, the important thing is he decides um, out of, like, three different girls who he wants to be with, and he decides on Princess Fiona, who is in a castle guarded by a dragon. So that's that's what Farquaad's goal is. Shrek's going to just get the guys out of the swamp. So now he's at Lord Farquaad's castle, he's past the, the funny ass joke, um, and then um, he like walks into this big arena, and Farquaad's giving the speech, and he's like, okay everybody, you're all gladiators, you're gonna fight each other, and the last man standing um, wins the honor to go get Princess Fiona for me, basically. Um, and he's like, he's like, many of you will die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Because he's like an asshole, you know, it's, it's pretty funny. Um, 
and and this still isn't a spoiler. I, I just want to point that out. I'm not really spoiling anything. Um, like, yeah, you you would know most of this stuff anyways just by watching the movie, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then, let's see. So Shrek shows up while he's giving that speech, and Shrek's like, Farquaad, I need these people out of my swamp. Um, and Lord Farquaad's like, okay, you know what? Whoever can kill the ogre is the one that wins. And so Shrek's like, oh, all right, the challenge. I, I don't know what he says, actually. Something to that effect. He's like, all right, I take this challenge to kill all these guys. And they all try to kill him, and he's just beating the crap out of them. I think there's, like, Green Day music in the background or something, or Led Zeppelin. I don't know. It's pretty badass. And he's just punching everyone and winning. And there's, like, a boxing ring, and he's, like, wrestling. And it's really badass. Um, and Shrek wins, of course, because Shrek's awesome. Um, and then... Um, so Farquaad's like, how about you, Ogre? You can go save the princess for me. And he's like, I don't do charity work. I just want these people out of my swamp. But um, Farquaad's like, how about this? If you get Fiona for me, then you can have your swamp back. And Shrek's like, all right. So Shrek agrees to go do that. Donkey comes with them again. Um, ah, excuse me. So Shrek and Donkey are going to find Fiona now. Um, and they walk. Oh, what do they do as they're walking? Hmm. I can't really remember in between. They leave Farquaad's castle. I don't think much really happens um, on their way to Fiona's castle. Because, yeah. So, we'll, we'll, I'll just if I remember, I'll just go back to it later. Because it's... Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just gonna jump ahead to when they're at um, Fiona's castle where she's being held. Um, and it's like this big scary castle and it's surrounded by a, like a lava moat, which is pretty cool looking. Um, and there's like this rickety bridge and Donkey's like, I don't wanna cross that bridge. That's what Donkey sounds like. Uh, and then Shrek's like, well, you gotta cross the bridge to get to the castle. I don't know what either one of them says, but I would assume it's something to that effect. Um, so then, um, Donkey starts crossing the bridge, and he's all scared, he's like, Shrek, I don't want to do this, man, and, uh, Shrek starts, like, shaking the bridge, and Donkey's like, stop it, stop it, and he starts backing up, and he's getting all scared, and Shrek keeps shaking the bridge, and he's like, stop it, stop it, and then it turns out that just from trying to run away from Shrek, he made it across the bridge anyway, so it all ended up working out, um, and it's kind of a life lesson of sorts, so they make it into the castle, um, and I think they split up, because there's the, there's a fire-breathing dragon in the castle, and I think maybe the fire-breathing dragon splits them up, or may, no, maybe they just split up to go find Fiona, I don't know, but they get separated at some point, I don't really remember how it happens, um, uh, and Shrek is going to find Fiona, he's like walking up the tower, and Donkey gets kidnapped by the dragon, and the dragon starts to like hit on him. It's really, it's kind of funny actually, cause he's like, you're a very handsome dragon. And then the dragon like gives him like a, this look and starts, starts like flickering its eyelashes. And he's like, oh, oh, you a girl dragon. And that's what Donkey says. Um, and then we cut back to Shrek and Shrek's walking up the stairs to go see Fiona. Um, I think like there's a scene where like Fiona is pretending to be asleep like she knows that Shrek is coming so she's like getting herself ready um, and she pretends to be asleep and she's expecting it to be romantic and then Shrek just like kicks down the door and grabs and is like come on princess we gotta go and she's like wait wait you're my um you're my hero shouldn't I get a kiss and he's like nope and so they run out and she's like come on shouldn't I uh what did she say she's like I don't even remember I think she oh yeah she wants him to take his um his mask off and like his helmet because he has a night helmet on since he's saving I don't know why he has the night helmet on um but he does and finally she convinces him to take it off and she takes it off and she's like oh you're an ogre and he's like yeah not exactly Prince Charming eh um and it's very frustrating um but it's fine and he's like look princess we gotta go and they run out of the building because there's a dragon. Uh, and then 
they cross the bridge and they make it out and then they I think they like spend the night just kind of hanging out um, and then then they start going back home because um, they like they like spend the night in the cave but I don't remember what they do there and, oh and then they wake up the next day and I think they made like eggs or something for breakfast I feel like I remember that and there's like a scene where she sings a really high note and it causes two birds to like explode. I just remembered that. Hmm. Well anyways, um, so they're on their way back now and they're walking through the forest and I think Shrek gets like shot in the butt by a bow and arrow and then this, this guy comes out of nowhere. He's got like a flute. Maybe he's Robin Hood? Was he Robin Hood? I don't remember who he was, but he was, he was funny and he like sang a whole song and danced because he thought that Fiona should be with him as opposed to with Shrek because he didn't realize that Shrek was rescuing. He thought that Shrek was like kidnapping her. Um, and there's like, so they're singing and dancing and um, Shrek and Fiona and Donkey, actually I don't know if Donkey's there or not. I don't know. They're like fighting the guys off. I remember Fiona does like a bullet time where she jumps in the air and she like whoop, kicks two guys. It's like, hold on. It's like, like, you know, but cooler than that. Okay, but that, that kind of idea where she like whoop, ah, kicks two guys at once, uh, it's really cool. And uh, they end up winning. And then Shrek's got the arrow in his butt now. So Fiona's like trying to help him. And I think she sends Donkey away, I'm pretty sure to go get like a flower that will heal, like help heal him or something. I forget what it is. It's something like that, but Donkey goes away and he's like looking for a flower and she's back there with Shrek and pulling it out of his butt and Shrek's like, ow, oh, stop it, that hurts. You know, something like that. Um, but she ends up getting it out and they continue walking along and everybody's friends and everything's going great. And then they stop by I think they spend the night in like a building, but it's just like a random building. Something like that. But they spend the night in this building. Um, and... Hmm, what happens? Oh, right! Fiona's like, she's like, hey donkey, can you come talk to me? Um, and donkey's like, yeah, what's up? And she's talking to him, and she shows him that after dark... She had a curse placed on her that causes her to turn into an ogre every night. Um, and Donkey's like, that's fine, because Shrek's an ogre. He'll, he won't mind. And Fiona's like, um, she's afraid that Shrek won't love her if she's so ugly or something like that. Or, or no, she's afraid that no one will love her if she's so ugly, because she needs true love's first kiss. That will break the curse and return her to normal. But Shrek overhears them talking, and all he he hears is something like, uh, how could someone love someone so ugly? And Shrek's like, she's talking about me. She thinks I'm ugly. She's the same as everyone else. I hate her. And so he calls Lord Farquaad up. Uh, how does actually he contact Lord Farquaad? Because he couldn't have called him. I don't know. But somehow Lord Farquaad and his army show up to the house place to come get Fiona. Um, and he, he's a little short guy, hops off his horse and is like, hey, come on, Fiona, we're gonna get married. Um, and she's upset at Shrek. And then Shrek is like, you said it yourself, Fiona. How could anyone love someone as ugly as me? And she's like, what? And then it plays, um, there's like a montage scene, I'm pretty sure. Um, in it, but not like a montage where you expect like a workout montage where it's playing like Eye of the Tiger or something. It's like, it's playing um, Holly, Hallelujah? Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it, right? Yeah, okay, Hallelujah. Um, not like the Hallelujah, not that one. It's like the I heard there was a secret chord that David, that one, you know the one, the really pretty song? It's playing that. And Shrek's being all sad, and he's like walking back to his swamp and going back to normal life. Fiona's all sad because uh, she wants to be with Shrek, but she's with 
uh, Lord Farquaad. Um, and then, oh, and it shows Donkey um, hanging out with the dragon that he met because they're like in love now. It's canon. Uh, that's a little weird. Um, and then Shrek shows up, or no, Donkey shows up to Shrek's house. And it's like, Shrek, you gotta go get your woman back. And Shrek's like, I do, I do, I do gotta get my woman back. I love, I love Fiona more than I, I don't remember how I did Shrek's voice before. I love Fiona more than I love any favorite hobby of mine. Or sweet ice cream. Or terrorizing people. I think that's what he says. Something like that about how he, he loves Fiona more than hobbies and ice cream and terrorizing people. I don't remember the exact quote, but I think it's something like that. Um, and so he goes and he storms into the, um, the wedding hall. He pushes down the door and he's like, wait, don't get married. Uh, and then Farquaad is like, oh girl, are, are you not satisfied with your swamp? And he's like, I want Fiona. Um, and he's like, very well, guards, get him. And then all the guards run after Shrek and Shrek beats the crap out of them because he's awesome. Um, and then Farquaad's like, he's like all mad and he's like, ah, I, I don't remember what happens exactly. But he's all mad at Shrek. And I, I want to say he like, tries to make, he's like, hurry up, guy, make it legal, make it a legal marriage. But before he can, the dragon that Donkey is with breaks down this giant glass window, I'm pretty sure. That's, and then <laughs> eats Farquaad. So Farquaad can't even marry Fiona, because he got eaten by a dragon, right? Um, and then Fiona's like, thank you, Shrek. And they, they go together and they embrace and they, they kiss. And Fiona starts to glow. Oh, she starts to glow green, yeah. And then it turns out that her true love's first kiss was Shrek. Shrek was the true love's first kiss. And then that made it so she turned to her true self but her true self wasn't her human form, it was her Shrek form. So she turned into a Shrek rather than turning into a human. And it was really beautiful because it's like, it's not about what you're like on the outside. No, yes, what you're like, like, it's not what you're like on the outside, it's like what you're like on the inside. So they're married now and Shrek and his, his woman Shrek, um, they fall in love and are happily ever after. Um, yeah, I think that's the whole movie. Oh shoot. I said I wasn't gonna spoil anything. I totally just, well, whatever. You probably weren't gonna see it anyways because you got your, what is it, your your uncle or something, your dad, whoever it is, your dad's funeral coming up. So, it's whatever. You don't care, right? Yeah, whatever. So yeah, I thought it was a great movie. Um, I might go see it again like next weekend with Greg, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll let you know. Maybe if you're free. No, you got the. Funeral, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, and Shrek's a great movie, though, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I should probably get to work. I'm about an hour late now from explaining this. So, thanks for uh, listening, I guess. Sorry about your dad again. <laughs> um, yeah, alright, I gotta go. I'll see you, man.